Hello, everybody, and welcome or welcome back to Tiny Rogues, the massively updated action roguelite. We are going to be going in here today with the Jester, one of the last two characters we have to check out. So I did technically play a version of the Jester when I played the Doppelganger, as that is the character that I got randomized. That being said, we do have a better start with this because we have the extra dexterity the intelligence that stuff as well as the extra alignment and i feel like we can do a really really good version of it so in we're gonna go on dash next weapon attack does a guaranteed crit and lethal hit at the same time which yeah it, it can be very good there's one obvious perk that we're gonna be looking for it is called swagger it is a dex perk and i want it bad on dash, okay, the other thing is we get all the equipment here. On dash, taunt the nearest enemy, so they take 35% more damage at close range. That's a multiplicative. We got the extra stam there, extra stam recovery, and some just bad weapons, just some not very good ones. Hit me with some early decks, no? All right. So the thing is, uh, I can't like just spam my dashes early on, really. Like I can maybe do boop, one. <laughs> here and there but obviously we don't have the uh the great dash recovery early game Whoop. there we go so we have to be pretty smooth with it in events what does this do does it give us scaling grants you plus five the decks i mean that's not bad Probably go for the uh, the wooden chest. hi -oh! Get that extra multiplicative on there, but these guys are healthy as hell. There we go. Dash in place. Got the random dice, I think, is usually the way to go, especially when comparing to just, like, I don't know, bombs or what have you. Boop. All right. What do we got for worms, man? I didn't look and see if there was an update. I actually haven't played uh, Tiny Rogues. Like, the uploads have been daily, but I haven't played it in, like, three or four days. So who knows, man? Mm. I'm willing to trash a red... Accessories are bad early. I'm looking for, like, a charm. Uh, whatever. Just hit him early. It's a rough one. Duh! I feel like going for the throat is a little bit risky on this guy. Okay. Save that hit until I know it's going to hit. The good news is we have two of the same types of usually annoying enemies. Ooh! So can be a little bit cute with it. I think spending those rerolls probably not going to be that useful. It's the first one. Probably shouldn't have bothered too much. Uh, I think that helmet's going to be pretty important. So here's the thing. I'm going to take this because it does not add to our encumbrance. See right here? It does not add to our encumbrance, and it's kind of like... It doesn't take up an inventory slot. So if I'm not using any of that stuff anyways, I could either A, take the helmet because it'll sell for a little bit more, or B, take this because it doesn't even take up inventory space, which I kind of like the idea of right now. Oh my god. I do need a new weapon, man. Maybe start to uh, dash a little bit more. Hey, if I could get swagger on the first, I'd be a happy man. Uh, tally of five primary attacks, your next primary attack does a guaranteed crit, and triggers your on-dash effect. So, yeah. It's a pretty good flint bow. Hunting knife. Crits with this weapon inflict bleed, so guaranteed crit. Uh, very short range is, like, meh. Quite, quite meh. This does fire damage, which is kind of fun. Oh my god, I still have that... I still have that set up from before. 
Uh, bombs back to... Okay, fine. We gotta go whoop, whoop, whoop. I'm curious about it. I just, I don't think I've, uh, I don't think I've used this one. Do I think it's gonna be that great? Eh, probably not. But yeah, now we can get the, uh, the crits and stuff without even having to move. Yes, we don't have the, the short range stuff as much here, which is going to be a little bit tighter, but good God. Swagger's really good. Swagger on this character is stupid. Uh, hit me with some gold. Uh-oh. What the hell? So we were going to want to get some kind of like tally reduction. I eh, lose an HP. Boop, 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 boop. The tally reduction, I think, is an intelligence perk, if I remember correctly, right? Hmm, I can't remember. Yep, 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 that damage. That damage. It is exceptional. It is exceptional. I guess we're going to hell. So looking for evil. Uh, increase attacks be equal to crit chance up to 100%. Not bad, but I don't think I'm going to grab a lot of crit chance due to the fact that we have ways to get guaranteed. Each point of dex also grants a 1.5 chance to repeat your attack. That, that, that is, that's potentially something to keep for the whole game. It's a big deal. 5% lucky hit chance. It's worth it. It's cheap. Three intelligence. I'll take it because now we are already evil. Theoretically, we can already get to super hell. Get a little bit of dex. Ooh. But yeah, I'm gonna... I'm pretty much gonna be tunnel visioning Dex anyways. But now we have these repeats, which... One could only imagine would... Hmm. Deadly Twin Daggers. Lucky hits with his weapon. Roll an additional time for crits. With a 50% critical damage. I mean, if we're taking something out of this, I think we grab these. It also helps with the close range stuff. I mean, I do want to make sure that I grab... Ooh. That I grab some strength so we can get extra inventory capacity. Quip load. Mm. I think the bow's better. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Hmm. Yeah. I don't care about the tavern very much right now. <sighs> Careful. We also got that burn going for us. But yeah, maybe if we had a lot of a lot of lucky hit chance, but again. I'm probably gonna be largely going or the guaranteed crits. So why even buff that up? So why even care about the lucky hit chance either? Uh, I'm not tied to my weapon, so I'm not going to go to sub blacksmith. Yeah, the time where that uh, the knife is going to be good. Mm, it's pretty much just when we can hit two people. Let's check an event. I mean, I think I put that in last time. I get the spider eye, bat wing, sure. I mean, it's good. It's very good. Am I going to keep it all run? I doubt it.
Okay. Would you stop? Get down, Mr. Presidenting him, please. So still don't have gloves. Is this something based off how good you are? Or lightning? 5% five, 5 increase attack speed? It's just... Suppression? Um... Five percent increased attack speed. I think it's better than it sounds, and I'm just gonna let's just like not get hit, and then it's better than suppression, even if it's not that even if it's not that good. If you never get hit, it's better than suppression, right? So that's kind of the the weird juggle. Go, 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 go. I wouldn't mind getting that, like, uh, your range weapons are always technically close range. Your bows, your bows technically are always close range. I know for a fact that it is a quiver, but I think it's also a perk. If we could do something with that and, like, increased buff effects or debuff effects, I think we could do something interesting there. Oh, I'm definitely interested. Baleful Harp Crossbow. Primary attack that does this amount of damage with a secondary that... I mean, it's a little bit tricky. Reduce your global tally threshold by one. That's appealing. This has a legendary... I mean, it's... What? It's got the legendary necrotic. Do I really care that much? I don't know. It's a little bit... A little bit... Eh. It's a primary and a secondary... Stables non-quiver offhands. This is just a one-hand. This is build thematic. It also will help the game. It's also very short range. It'll help the game know what type of thing I want. But also it's going to be uh, proccing my dash effects more. Probably. We could also just get something that attacks really fast. Which... You know. May have been the crossbow. I mean, this is faster and there's the lower tally. I mean, I think this is the right thing for right now. Oh, this does give us the shield, which actually is a little bit weird. Uh, because of, of the... Hmm. Forgot about that. It's good, though. It's a good thing. We just need to not carry useless stuff around. This is not useless at all. I think we'll get rid of these god-awful knives, because they're probably, like, a, a worth a coin. Maybe, like, one coin or something. Uh, fortune blessing, luck, and lasts for 60 seconds? I just... I just don't care. I can't, I can't care about that. 60 seconds. Nice. Alright, on dash, of course. Dex also gives us lucky hit chance. Uh, Dynamo, periodically increment all your active tally counters by one and your periodical effects by 0.25 seconds for every five units moved. Yeah, these two things together are obviously stupid. We're going to be dashing all the time. Technically. <laughs> like, I don't know what to say. Like, you you give me the uh, this ability on this character and obviously we go for this build. I'm still at the plus five. I thought I took these off. Oh, and then I put them back on and auto-equipped them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Bag it on up for a second. Ugh. 
Um. Just get these guys out of the way for a sec. Does he always uh, throw these out after? He sure do. He sure as H do. Quiver. Uh, attacks with bows and crossbows gain a 25% chance to trigger a Seeking Fey arrow. I mean, definitely interesting. There's a world where I do that. <laughs> There is a world where I take that, uh, and I, I go for, like, a bow that has to do with it. Three decks? That's a lot bigger than it sounds. Three decks feels like nothing. I very much have enough stuff now. But we're going to be dashing a lot. Like, ideally, we're going to grab more. Ooh. Grabbing more stamina. Okay. Um. Yeah. Uh... Dex up, strength up. I think that's fine. We can wear these boots now, can't we? Uh-oh. Why'd I do that? <laughs> Why'd I do that, man? Doesn't really matter. I was not gonna keep them the second I found literally, like, any other boots. And also, we wouldn't be able to wear them again anyways now. Right? Not with the shield. At the very least. Yeah, see, with the shield, I'm maxed out. I think we go, we sell a little bit of some stuff. We don't have actually that much to sell, unless we want to say, eh, I don't care about the Fey Quiver. 25% based on... Based on luck? Or no. It has the luck symbol, so I'd assume so. So I don't have that much luck. I just have a lot of chance to do that. I, I don't... I don't care. I don't care. I will care later. I'm going to regret that in the future, but I do not regret it right now. <laughs> Increase your tipsiness. That's a, that's a future thing as well. That meteor, man. All right. Ugh. I could upgrade this thing. See, now there we go. That, that is way better anyways. Uh, wait, it has to be bow or, yeah, it has to be bow or primary bow, so. Hmm, hmm. Repeat attacks have to count for a tally markup, right? This is obviously, like, it's a safer build because it's also at a distance. One would imagine it has to be lower damage output. Maybe could have placed it perfectly to, to mess up with this. Yeah. All right. All right. I don't have any gloves, so. Could be obviously very good. You get a lot of decks this way. 
it goes up to what 20 decks do i do i care probably right that's i mean 15 decks is a lot of stats it's it's a lot of stats Like, the superhero has that stuff that's kind of, you know, the, the perks that are wacky strong. They are 30, but, like, still. Getting half that, and it's not like I'm not the superhero, feels like a pretty good deal. It's got to be melee, right? Yep. Yeah. Mm-hmm. 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 Hmm. Hmm. I could see this being the right thing in the future. Uh, like, ironically, it's just a, it's a 20%. Out of these, I do feel best about this one. I, I think I'm willing to take a stam down for now. I'll probably, I kind of want to heal up so that we could, like, if we get a cursed door that's blocking something really good, we're fine. And then hopefully, ooh boy, hopefully we just get a whole bunch of souls and we, you know, we'll buy a lot of extra dashes from here on out. Hmm. So here's what this does right now. It gives us a lot of attacks. It triggers very often. Primary attacks. Wait, what do we got here? Oh my god. Divine cocktail. Uh, this is a magic one, which I'm not feeling right now. Divine Molotov Cocktail is just the funniest thing <laughs> to me. I, uh, it's not a, it's not a bow or crossbow though, so it's like, it's a hard sell. Uh, 693, but it's uh, quite a bit faster. 25% increased top end damage. Inflicts Snow Brand. Uh is a cold damage over time effect. There's 100% of cold infliction damage as fire damage two times per second. That seems really good. That seems really good. It's, I mean, it seems good. And on top of the fact that it will slow, it'll also reduce, yeah, so it'll reduce their movement speed a bit. Yeah, I think this is, it's quite a bit better. Quite a bit better. That that snow brand. I mean, these are guys with prox defense too. You know. Boop, 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 boop. Magic weapon or strength? I don't care much. Two times per second. I, I mean, it, it's... There's a lot of overflow. Unless those can stack, and I don't know if they can. Stone mask. I don't care. Oh, boy. I could see myself upgrading this, but I also don't think... I don't think I'm going to keep this until the end. I think this is just the best thing I have right now. It's not related to my build. There's like the... Um, there's bows with tally marks on them. I mean, it seems to be impressive. Should get some intelligence? Sure. Yeah, we got we got Dynamo. We got our Dynamo Swagger, Wombo Combo. Let's 
sir. Goodbye. Yep, and you're gonna go underground. See you inhale. Whoa. Man spawned on face. We do want to be moving for Dynamo. I have one reroll left. If it feels right. Oh, is this the periodic effects? Yeah, we're going to take that. Ooh. Never mind, Zealot Gloves. Uh, zealot Gloves and figure out something with 10 to remove. I guess it would be the poncho. I mean, this is good, but I've never I've never used the zealot set yet. It's yeah, it's a helmet, of course it is. Oh. Oh, that charm good. Oh, that charm good. It's worth it. 5% attack speed with 3 intelligence. I mean, I think I'm good at this point. It sells for more if I'm not going to be using that. Mm, burr, 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 burr. We do need to get a little bit of strength. Because I can only imagine the Zealot Helmet is... Should probably do that, but... I'd rather gamer it up. Aye, aye, aye. 60% chance to repeat attack, the primary... So yeah, the faster uh, periodic rate does help with Dynamo. It makes it so uh, you don't have to move as many spaces for the tick to happen, is how that works. That's a lot of money. Um? I mean, this is good too, but like... This is good too. I don't have a lot of lucky hit. 5% lucky hit? Hmm. Could be good, but I don't have a lot of lucky hit. How do I get a lot of lucky hit? I'd have to take another perk. It's two perks to make that good, but then it makes it very, very good. Uh, <clears throat> Take that and hope that we get lucky hits as a result. Let's just have m more than money than we ever could dream of. Um, another thing we can look for now is Radiant Damage. Radiant Damage would also help us get more lucky hits. There's this... Oh, the Zealot Helmet only costs 20, huh? Immediately active. So we get the 10% attack speed, five primary attacks, increase your periodic effects by one. So like, yeah. Oh, there's obviously, like this is obviously could be something. Periodically intimidates all enemies in the room. So it would be always. They'll always take 30% more. So we will, I think at this point, it sucks because I, I do like this. It's obviously very good. So now we need to get some more powerful periodic effects. We want lucky hits. Yeah, that's worth it. We want lucky hits and uh, more powerful periodic effects, and it's even more over than it already is. Useless. I have so much money, I might as well. One million percent think that there's uh, a lot of better weapons out there. We just need 
does need to be a bow. Just who cares? <laughs> is what I have to say to that. Three armor. Oops. Three armor. It's so. It's so heavy, too, you know? I am gonna. I am gonna need strength. Give me your strength, game. Uh oh. I wouldn't mind an explosive like a, a bow that shoots out dynamite. <laughs> knowing the game, that's like, that sounds like a crazy thing, but like knowing the game is like, yeah, that's probably a thing. Something like it. That was hypnotic, that fight. <laughs> I was I was participating and it was hypnotic to me. Oh GG. No, that's not the boots I thought they were. Mm -hmm. It's an accessory. I actually can't. I, I really thought that that was the clockwork boots that are... I can't remember exactly what they're off the top of my head right now, but they're nuts. Pick up a mana star, don't care. Barf. At this point, screw the crystal pine resin. Alright. Okay. Um, I mean, I guess we have a couple... We have two level ups left, right? Yeah, we have two level ups left. I'm very down to see a ranged weapon. I wish. At this point, I, I would use the ugly sweater instead, so. Uh oh. Yep. Not, just not good. That one being totem and toxin. Totem and Toxic Enchanted, just... That's a no-go for me. Okay. Yes, please. I want strength. I need a, I need a decent amount of extra strength yet. Absorb. Specifically a ranged weapon. I mean, there's... I don't know. I want a bow. There's a chance that it's useless. I do feel like there's better bows out there. Like a on repeated attack, do blank, or a on tally. a gun. Mini B. Upgrades to Maxa B at level 4. Well, it's not a bow or a crossbow, unfortunately, so it is a no-go for me. I guess I'll do this and I'll bomb it? I don't have any, uh, potions. I traded my life away on doors already. Yeah. 
You. You. God, I hate it with the summons. Bag it up, bag it up, bag it up. Okay, so get ready for him to teleport into the middle. This man is... Uh, what am I doing? This man is stank. Whew. Honestly, one of the harder bosses. Genuinely, genuinely. 4-8. And one of the harder bosses. In my humble opinion. <sighs> Michelangelo. Okay, I don't know if... Oh. Well, that actually ends up being a little bit useless, accidentally. I gotta be honest, I want... Oh, it uses mana. Interesting. I'm really curious. The recurve bow, obviously, like, with a 67% chance to repeat, it's... It's it's so good, but Michael Angebo, that it's such a good name. We run out of mana so fast. Oh, you son of a so and so. Fine. That's more luck, which means more uh, more ticks, which means more attacks, which does mean less mana. I mean, I could just attack in mana uh, deficit at this point. Is it just, like, a lot worse? Why does it feel a lot worse? I know it's not upgraded. Oh, were they just super armored? I mean, I got the mana deficit, but how can I... This, is, this was my concern. How can I ever expect to not be in mana deficit with this thing? Look how fast it goes. <laughs> it's very cool. It's very oh. It's very interesting. Earn luck. Earn luck like clockwork. Okay. Uh Happy Phantasm. The Ocarina of Time. Doubles the rate of the periodic effects is very cool, but uh, if it's not a bow or crossbow, it's got a little bit of a problem. 10% lucky hit chance, already good. Uh, thrusting hit stacks, 6.52, 6.52. 10 percent lucky hit chance grants a Phantasm Companion. 400% increased damage to feared... I, in, Oh, the Phantasm inflicts the fear for us. Okay, well that settles that. does lose me a little bit of um, dex, and that number isn't quite as high as it sounds. I don't know if I want Kurt. Eh. Okay. Okay, this is interesting. This is a lot of numbers. This is a, it's a, that's a, that's a large amount of numbers. Thanks.
Fine. We very easily justify that. I guess we will get a wee bit tipsy. I wish there was a um, black market here so we could sell this stuff. What's our lucky hit? 69%. More. More. So we are, I will say, it doesn't make sense to get any more if we're trying to get, like, clockwork to go, because I promise you we're already hitting at every 0.25 seconds. So I'm going to buy these. Eh. Yeah, I'll do that. No. Again, just in case the game is keeping that in mind, I'll keep this for the tally. Seems good. I think bombing chests is just, like, not worth it at all. Is this really supposed to be shooting this many shots, you know? I really can't tell. A cursed pair of boots? I don't really want to be cursed. Well, I don't know if I really care, actually. I was going to say, because the lucky hits of it all, but I think we're fine there. The poor soul, if he gets, um, feared. God help him. I don't have any dashes! Really? <laughs> uh, I really gotta get that upgrade, but I've been spending it because we've been getting cool stuff. Um, I mean, that's cool, and obviously it's fear. So that's clearly happening as much as possible, dear. Near a random enemy. It might even be worth... It might be worth having the encumbrance. Let's see. Um? Yeah, that sucked. I can't tell if I think it's worth it. I have enough money. We're, we're going to get to the point where we can't spend the money. Ideally, we just get some strength and it doesn't have to be a question. Thank you. This and then one more strength and it's not even a question. I can't. Yep. I'm curious. Judgment is a lucky hit thing. It's obviously something. But yeah, the, the over... Ooh, there we go. There we go. We got it. And it's perfect. It's a burger, too, you know? I don't need dashes. Thank you. Not over encumbered. Boom. Just like that, we could have that or the that, this or this. I think we go for the lightning boots. I think it makes obviously more sense. Die. Oh, you dirty devil. Three strength. That would have been... I almost could have put on the, uh, the armor as well. Uh, I mean, we could... I mean, yeah, I mean, that's very good. We could basically always be critting, but we're kind of already almost always critting. Uh, a 30% multiplicative on our attack speed is ridiculous. I have nine rerolls, and I really want to see what else we get. Uh, 
obviously, uh, lightning conductor can be very good. I mean, I actually don't have that many damaging triggers. I really only have one and it's my boots. So I just think we can do something else. I might just end up going with, I mean, honestly, probably is the call, right? I think we're going to be throwing a wild amount of grenades. Because I noticed there was no cap on that. For some reason, <laughs> there was no cap on the amount of grenades. Same deal. I actually don't care about money at this point. Oh my god. I'm just curious. So much for the extra dashes. It's just a visual nightmare is the, the big problem. That's the uh-oh of the moment, is I can't really see. <laughs> the, the moment he got feared, holy crap! What's better, 15 dex or an extra 100% damage against the specific types of enemies? W, I can't, I don't need it. Yeah, that one, yeah, that one's kind of nuts. What's my attack speed increase right now? So I'm, I'm firing a lot of bullets, but a decent amount of, or, you know, arrows. 66%. I would love to get an equip load upgrade from this next thing. From this zone. I would love. Love, love, love it. Equip load. And trigger damage, good. Mm. I just don't really want to take the hit on that, because I don't think it's going to make that much of a difference. It's hard to say. These are all, like, these are all playing together in a sup very stupid way. Like, obviously, we can get a lot of dashes, but I think I have enough bombs. Equip load. Uh. I don't know if damage from non-crits applies to triggers. I assume no because of the existence of the triggers one now. Okay. We still have that. We've been saving the critical hit multiplier potion the whole time. Um... Um, am I, I mean, 13, I'm not gonna get, unless I get a soul's room, I'm not gonna get another dash, which means that this could increase our lucky hits by like an even sillier amount, sure. Crit chance means that our lucky hits turn into even more crits. And here's a true thing. As much as I have a lot of lucky hits. 
Oh my god, we can get to basically 100%. Not that it's... I'm at 100%. I'm at 100% lucky hit. But why though? Do I go for armor just in case I get like a... An armor piece that I can like... I don't know. I can wear for like zero. Okay. Oh, the ghost got to him. The ghost starts at the, the summons. That's the thing. The second the ghost gets to him, he's done so. What? Oh, that's a different one. It's good. Bye. Assert dominance. Just leave. Cool. But now getting the extra infusion. The, um... Oh, God. Where is the equip load, man? What? Most things are crit, not all things. But stamina potion sounds good. For the love of gob. Equip load. Oh, okay. I can at least wear the shirt now. Okay. There's a world where this is still good now, but... It's a 30% multiplicative for normals. <laughs> I would need like a shop. I might get, I could get one. Rip. I mean, I definitely don't care about the mana drain refund. I hate this guy. He just, he punishes you for being strong. Because he just then, then starts running up to your face. Like, here's the thing. My periodic stuff is, like, largely capped, right? For every four units moved. 2.5 seconds for every four units moved. My movement speed goes down. What do I lose? Man, it would be... S just imagine. 20% movement speed penalty. <laughs> I might take it off mid-fight. Okay, here we go. Put it back on. That's tactics. 
That's inventory tactics right there. Boop, boop. Yeah, it works well. Yeah, it works pretty well. Woo woo woo! Woo woo woo! Alright. And that's kind of exactly how I expected that one to go. <laughs> I, I, I didn't really envision that one going any differently than that. And hell yeah for it. Uh, alas, alas, though. Got the win, 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 win. So yeah, that's the only one without the win on these. Two wins. Yeah, some of these are going to have two. Yep. One more, baby. One more. Uh, very excited for it, but alas, alas, that's that. That's going to do it here for today for Tiny Rogues. Thank you for watching. It's been a wonderful time. Check out the channel for Roguelikes and more every single day, and I'll see you next time. Bye.